What is Ethereum and how does it work in 2022? I keep hearing about it. I've heard it's the second biggest cryptocurrency, but I can't put my brain around it. Is it as radical as chief as Bitcoin? Can it really alter the current state of the world? Keep watching if you want to learn more about Ethereum, but are bored of explanations that seem like total technical rubbish. Hello everyone, welcome to Wealthy Wisdom. In this video, we're going to talk about what is Ethereum and how does it work in 2022. If you're new to this channel, do like and subscribe to the channel. These and other questions will be addressed. Because Ethereum was founded on Bitcoin, it's vital to go through it fast before moving on to Ethereum. Number 1. You're undoubtedly aware that Bitcoin is a sort of decentralized money. But if you're not sure what that means or how it works, you should revisit our original video, What is Bitcoin? Prior to Bitcoin, the only method to spend money digitally was to utilize a third party, such as a bank or PayPal. Even back then, the government created and held the money used. All of that changed when Bitcoin arrived. Bitcoin is a decentralized currency that allows users to deal directly with one another without the need of an intermediary. Every Bitcoin transaction is validated and approved by the whole network. The system is difficult to shut down, alter, or govern since there is a single point of failure. Number 2. What other centralized areas of society may benefit from being spread out now that we know money can be spread out? What are your thoughts on voting? To be genuine, votes must be tallied and verified by a central authority. Real estate transfer records are now maintained by a centralized property registration authority. Social networks such as Facebook keep track of all the information we provide them through central servers. What if the blockchain technology that powers Bitcoin could be used to decentralize other things as well? Number 3. The fascinating thing about blockchain technology is that it arose by chance when Bitcoin was created. Blockchain technology was created by combining pre-existing technologies such as encryption, proof-of-work, and decentralized network architecture to create a system that can make decisions without a central authority. There was no such thing as blockchain technology prior to Bitcoin. When Bitcoin became a real entity, the people began to figure out how and why it worked. Blockchain technology was born from this thing. Blockchain is a platform for developing programs and applications. It's similar to how the internet is to email. One approach is to use a cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin. People were overjoyed and they started to investigate new methods to decentralize. However, for a system to be really decentralized, it must be administered by a massive network of computers. Bitcoin was the sole network at that time, and it had just a few users. Number 4. Due to the fact that Bitcoin is written in a Turing imperfect language, it can only comprehend a limited amount of instructions, such as who sent how much money, to whom and when. A new programming language and a different computer network are needed to construct a more complex system. Consider for a minute the possibility of developing Bitcoin like the centralized software at home. You would need to know how Bitcoin's decentralization works, develop software that replicates its behavior, construct a large computer network to run this program, etc. And all this difficult work. Now, let's discuss our primary subject. What is Ethereum and how does it work in 2022? Ethereum was first suggested by Vitalik Buterin, who was the co-founder of Bitcoin magazine at the time. It became a reality in 2014. Ethereum is a platform for dApps, or decentralized programs developed independently. If you want to create decentralized software that no one, not even you, can control, all you need to do is learn the Solidity programming language for Ethereum and begin coding. Ethereum's network is totally decentralized since it is operated by thousands of different computers. When a program is uploaded to the Ethereum network, these computers, also known as nodes, ensure that it executes as intended. Ethereum is a platform used globally to execute decentralized applications. It cannot be used to purchase or sell items. It's a foundation. Either it's a currency used to compensate the network, but more on that later. Ethereum aims to make the Ethernet much less centralized. Wait, Ethernet in one place? 
I was under the impression that the internet was already decentralized and anybody could create a website. 5. In reality, firms such as Amazon, Google, Facebook, Netflix, and others control the vast majority of the internet as we know it. Virtually, everything you do online involves a third party or intermediary in some way. But when Bitcoin demonstrated that digital decentralization could work, a whole new set of opportunities emerged. Now that a central third party is no longer required, we can finally begin to envision and construct an Ethernet that directly links users. This space may be rented directly to other users, eliminating the need for Dropbox. Drivers may offer their services directly to passengers, eliminating the Uber intermediary. Individuals may acquire cryptocurrencies directly from one another, eliminating the need for exchanges that can be hacked or where funds may be stolen. Ethereum allows users to communicate directly without the necessity for a centralized administration. It is a cluster of computers collaborating to create a powerful, distributed supercomputer. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. Now that you understand what Ethereum does, let's discuss how it accomplishes its objectives. Solidity is an Ethereum programming language used to create smart contracts. This is the code that allows DOPS to function. I'll elaborate. In actuality, a contract is nothing more than a series of if and then clauses, or a list of conditions and acts. For instance, my landlord allows me to reside in my apartment so long as I pay him $1,500 on the first of each month. Smart contracts function identically on Ethereum, as they do everywhere. Once developers using Ethereum have written the op or DOPS conditions, the op or DOP runs on the Ethereum network. They are referred to as smart contracts since they handle all aspects of contracts including administration, performance, and payment. For instance, if I have a smart contract, the landlord does not have to do anything to collect the rent. If stated, the contract knows that the funds have been transferred. If I really sent the funds, I will be allowed to enter my flood. If I fail to pay my rent on time, I will be evicted. Number 7. However, smart contracts offer both benefits and downsides. Using the same scenario as previously, a smart contract would prevent a non-paying renter from moving back in, eliminating the need for the landlord to evict them. In contrast, a really intelligent contract would also take into consideration mitigating circumstances, the reason the contract was created, and the flexibility to make exceptions when necessary. That is, it would do a great job as a judge. But in the Ethereum world, a smart contract is not smart at all. In reality, there is no room for movement at all. It follows the law to the letter and can take into account anything else or the spirit of the law, like some real-world contracts do. Once a smart contract is on the Ethereum network, it can't be changed, not even by the person who made it. It can't be different. It would be hard to change this contract because everyone on the Ethereum network would have to agree that it needs to be changed. This is a very big problem because unlike Bitcoin, Ethereum was made to let people make very complicated contracts. And complicated contracts are notoriously hard to protect. The harder it is to make someone follow a contract, the more complicated it is. This is because there is more room for interpretation or because more words are needed to cover all possible situations. In the context of smart contracts, Security is taking the greatest precautions to ensure that the contract is only executed as intended. Number 8. When Ethereum was first created, the term code is law was used. In other words, an Ethereum contract is irrevocable. No one has the ability to alter it. When the DAO incident occurred, however, everything shifted abruptly. The centralized autonomous organization, sometimes known as DAO or DAO, allows anyone to deposit funds into an account and get incentives depending on how the DAO spends the funds. They would make their own decisions through decentralized decision-making. When Ether was worth about $20, the DAO used it to get $150 million. Even though everything seemed great, the code wasn't properly protected, so someone found a way to steal money from the DAO. The person who stole from the DAO could be called a hacker, but some people say this person was just taking advantage of the security holes he found in the DAO smart contract. This is kind of like when a smart lawyer finds a way around the law to help his client. 
After determining that the code was no longer lawful, the Ethereum community modified the Ethereum rules to return all of the DAO's funds. In other words, investors and contract writers made a poor decision, and those who work on Ethereum opted to rescue them. A tiny number of individuals who disagreed with this choice remain on the Ethereum blockchain until its protocol was altered, resulting in the birth of Ethereum Classic, the original Ethereum. Since we've already discussed a lot, I'd want to conclude by discussing Ethereum as a money. Number 9. Ethereum is a large network of computers that collaborate like a supercomputer to execute the programming that enables stops. It requires money to purchase the machines, power them up, store them, and cool them as necessary. Ether was created for this purpose. When individuals discuss the price of Ethereum, they are really discussing the price of Ether. Ether is the coin obtained when the Ethereum protocol is executed on a computer, similar to how Bitcoin miners get compensated for keeping the Bitcoin network operational. The creator of a small contract is required to pay for its usage on the Ethereum platform. This service is remunerated in Ether. This is done to encourage individuals to create efficient and well-optimized programs and to prevent people from exploiting the Ethereum network's computer capacity for meaningless tasks. Ether was originally distributed in 2014 at the first initial coin offering for Ethereum. At the time, one Ether costs around 40 cents. At the moment, one Ether is worth hundreds of dollars. This is because the 2017 ICO mania has resulted in a significant increase in Ethereum network use. Now that we are finished and tackle what is Ethereum and how does it work in 2022, I hope you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do give us a like. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Thank you and goodbye.